Hey there, my name is Julie Feifan Balzer and I am a painter, a printmaker, and a collage artist living and working outside of Boston. So yesterday, my husband picked up our son at uh, preschool and when uh, my husband was taking in the trash cans, our son came into the house and he started yelling for me and I said, hey, I'm up in the studio and he came up, surprise visit. I was in the middle of recording a time-lapse video for uh, my members over at my membership site at bulgerdesigns.com and the camera was on and so it caught the two of us making some art. He is four years old, he loves to make art. I try to encourage him in lots of different ways. He wanted to paint on my big painting and I have to tell you at first I was a little bit nervous but I try whenever I can to say yes to him in the studio. So we went with it and I love what happened. So come along with us this week. Uh, the truth of being a working artist is you're also a person. You're also a person who has a family. I'm also a mother. So a big part of my life is around my family and I try to incorporate them into my art as well as art into everyday life. So let's do it. Do you want to help me paint? <coughs> Are you good at painting? Yeah. Yeah. I paint that. I, I paint this with you. Yes, you can paint this with me. With my axe. With your axe? I don't know if your axe will get into the paint. Then it might get. It might be permanently dirty, but because I'm using grown-up paints. Can I help? Well, do you have your smock on? No. Well, if you put your smock and your apron on, then we can start getting to work. Let me just finish gluing this and then I'll help you. And especially because you're wearing such a pretty white shirt that's hanging out below, we're gonna put apron on too. We're gonna double the protection. Can I make my own painting with you? Yes, you can. Do you want your own paper and your own canvas? Would you like a canvas yeah. or would you like paper? Canvas. Canvas, okay, I'll get you your own canvas. But it has to be a super big one as big as It has to be a super big one as big as I don't know that I have another super big one up here. I can give you a super big piece of paper or I can give you a small canvas. Do you want to see the small canvas? Okay, can you reach this if I put this here? I have no, to put no, them... no. You can reach it if I put it here, right? Yeah, but I need a paintbrush and paint. Yes, and we need to put what down on the floor? Can I? What do we need to put down on the floor? The drop box. Can I put that one in? This is sharp, so push it with me. Push it with me. Good job. Do you want to? If you want you can still walk in on your canvas. Thank you. Okay, so here's your dish of water. Here's your water. Here is your, let's make sure it works. Oh, yeah. Yeah, spray bottle. So, how was your day at school? Good. Yeah, did anything exciting happen? Wait, one on a a field trip. You went on a field trip? Where did you go? To the Charles, to the Charles Zoo. To the Charles River? Yep. Let's see. So today, I dropped off some artwork for a show. I'm going to drop off my artwork for a show too. That's awesome. And you know who I, who I ran into in line? Yeah. I ran into a daddy whose daughter's work was going into the show and he was dropping it off for her and he was so proud of her he was telling me all about how she's in art school and he was bragging about her and i thought that was awesome but he was so proud of her for being an artist i'm an artist you are an artist did you, did you tell him all about me of course i did because i am so proud did that you're come, an artist did, too did he I'm teaching a class and you're one of the students. I would love that. Okay, I want to play it. Okay, what are you going to teach me today, teacher? We'll say I have to send the teacher chip. Oh, send the teacher channel. Is it a scary surprise or a not scary surprise? Yeah, it's not a scary surprise. That's so awesome. I'm to the do all the guys will give you candy. <gasps> I love candy. Remember when he always followed the cat teeth in the class? 
I do remember that. And yeah. then it turned out that it wasn't a real cat. It was a person. A person. That's right. Professor McGonagall. Professor McGonagall. Professor McGonagall is the witch who turns into a cat. Do you remember that? No. No. What do you remember from Harry Potter? Um, um the Whomping Willow. You remember the Whomping Willow? Why you, you can paint with me? Oh, thank you. I thought we were painting together. Are we not? If you want, you can paint my. Oh, because I can paint on your work? That's so nice. Because I have an extra pink one. <gasps> you do? Would you like it if I painted on yours? You can help. Or would you like can to I paint, paint on mine? Can I paint on yours? I thought that might be where we were going. Yes, you can paint on mine. Whoa, I love those black marks down there. That's a lot to the composition. That's some pretty good black watercolor. Whoa! Beautiful marks. You are doing such a good job with that toothbrush. Is that a really fun tool to paint with? I'm going to take this black and yeah, and oh, this is going to be the ocean. Part of it's going to be the ocean. Hey, how about if we turn this canvas a little bit so that we work on the other side too? Give it a little more. I'm not done with that. Oh, you're not done with that side? Can you work on this side or do I need to turn it back? I can work on this side. Okay. I want to make sure this is hanging up evenly, it looks like. You yeah. know what I like is the little marks that the toothbrush makes. It's very different from how a paintbrush does it, isn't it? Oh, you know, this drip is beautiful. Did you do that or did I do that? Um, I did. You did. It's such a good drip. This is black and green. Black and green together make a kind of very dark green, depending how much black you add. I added so much black. You added so much black. And so much green. And so much green. That makes kind of like a, um, a yellow color. Really? I'm surprised to hear that. Yeah, I said that we whipped this color. Let me see. Oh yeah, because this paper is still wet, right? I glued it down, but it's not dry yet. So if you push too hard on it, it's gonna rip. But that's okay. But that's okay, things happen when you're making art. Did you do it again? Yeah. Okay, so let's stay away from that area. That area is not dry. So let's stay away from, see? Let's stay away from this area then for a little while, okay? Well, I can do this area because this area is wet. Yeah, and you can also do over here is pretty dry, I think, if you want to do over here. Oh, not in this. Not on that part. Maybe I'm just on the pink part. You could also do on your paper. Pretty dry. Not on this part. Okay, don't push through the canvas, Bug. You're pushing very, very hard, okay? Don't put a hole in the canvas. There you go, what a nice pencil line. So because you used watercolor, if I wanna keep some of the stuff that you did, I need to go over it with gel medium or it will wash away. It's okay if it washes away, I can make an old one for you. That is such a good point, but I do wanna keep some of your beautiful marks. So. That's okay, I, I'm going I'm going to spray it. Are you sure? A lot of it will go away if you spray it. Now, I really am calling time on art making, so if you want a picture with your art, you've got to stand there, and I'll take a picture of you. Oh, I need to put this on. You need to put that on? Okay. So, hey, I hope you enjoyed this peek into making art with my son. I hope that there's a little person in your life, a grandchild, a nephew, a niece, a son, a daughter, a sister, a brother, somebody that you can bring the joy of art to as well. If you'd like to check out my membership program, you can do that at balzerdesigns.com. If you'd like to buy some art, you can do that at juliebalzer.com. I'd love to see you either way.